What's up everybody, Alan from DiceRange here with a look at the all new Foliage Renderer Object Module. A handy dandy new extension for your Foliage Renderer workflow. Uh, that gives you an oft requested feature, the ability to render any game object in your scene via Foliage Renderer's indirect renderer. So you've got trees or hedges or something baked into a prefab, you want to render those through the indirect renderer the same way you're rendering all of your terrain trees and details. Here you go. Uh, so we'll take a look at the package briefly and we'll take a look at uh, how to use it. Um, here in the object module package, you can see we've got a documentation folder. There is not extensive documentation. The system is not complicated. And if you're familiar with Foliage Render and the provider components, this is very straightforward. There's an example that includes an indirect Unity capsule with indirect game object provider component already attached. This is the new piece of tech that you get in this package. And the scripts folder has that ravishing piece of code you can look at if you so choose. Over here on the left, we've got our foliage render terrain example scene that you are all probably familiar with pulled up. And we are just going to drag this capsule in here. Boom. Now we can go ahead and turn our mesh renderer off at this point because the indirect renderer is now rendering this thing. Very cool. Uh, you can see we've got our indirect renderer on. If we go over here to the draw manager, we have a new tree in our list of trees. We don't just have our conifer that would normally be here. We now have our indirect capsule example. We can, of course, uh, toggle the overrides and all this stuff like usual. You know how that works. But if we look at the indirect ca capsule itself, there's a few settings here. So force refresh on enable, you're used to these update settings are the same as other providers you've seen before, update on transform change. So if we move this thing around, it will update in real time and still be rendered through the indirect renderer. If that was unchecked and we started moving this around, we would get updates and late update if it thought it needed one, but it wouldn't because nothing's telling it to update. Now we also have a checkbox here for toggle default renderers. Um, this is handy if you need the functionality similar to foliage renderer where like, Hey, I want to turn off indirect render. I want to turn off the provider here. I want to turn back on this thing. So since we have this turned on, if I uncheck this guy, the mesh renderer pops right on. So it looks like there's no change in our scene view, but now we're rendering with the mesh renderer. Let me turn this back on. It'll turn off. And here you can also choose the draw type. Now, if you're coming from foliage renderer one, I'm recording this video before I record foliage renderer two documentation. Don't ask me why. Um, so uh, some of this may be from the future for you. Uh, draw type is a concept that lets us determine what sort of object we are rendering at any point in time. The options are trees, details, and objects. I kinda, it kind of just makes sense. Um, but if we change this to say object, and then we go back here to foliage draw manager, you'll notice we now have a new rollout for object draw settings that wasn't here before. Um, so this is useful if you want to have stuff that doesn't count as far as you're concerned as trees or details. You want it to have its own quality settings stuff for distance and shadow and so on. Object gives you a new category with which to do that, right? You could also render this as a detail or as a tree. Um, you can also drag in a conifer, render that as a tree, and it will collate exactly with the existing stuff. So. Uh, you'll still just have one conifer in here if you add a conifer to the scene and slap the component on. And that's pretty much it. It just works. It seamlessly integrates with FR and the way you're used to operating with it. Um, and it does what it says on the box. It lets you render game objects. It still supports LODs, all the sort of usual stuff you normally expect. Um, you probably don't want to place every single thing in your scene this way. But for, you know, bespoke stuff that you need to season your terrain or get a hero thing in a spot, but you still want it to render the same way as the other stuff, now you're set. Cool. If you have questions, of course, join the Discord, post in the comments. Uh, let us know what other stuff you would like to see as part of the foliage renderer ecosystem. Because it's terrain. Yeah. Great. All right, see you all in the next one. Enjoy.